thank you very much. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for being here in a rainy day at uh, this early hour. Uh, it's, I, I appreciate really that. And okay, my my intention to today is to show you the key results from this. Uh, economic uh, impact study of the San Sebastian Film Festival. It was uh, um, presented to the, to the media, you can see the date there, in July 2013. Uh, of course, some of the data I'm going to show you today are a bit outdated because we have had uh, three more editions of the festival since then, but uh, I think it's, a, it's a, this data are a very good example of uh, how a festival can um, support the economic life of a city like San Sebastian. And I suppose it can be applied also to, to your festivals or to your own cities. So let's go to, to see the study, but uh, first I want to introduce you why uh, the Duration Committee of the festival decided to do it. Uh, this economic impact study was uh, commissioned to the consultant company Iker Talde, which is in, the, in San Sebastian. And it was the first time that the festival took uh, this initiative in all its history. Uh, the reason was because uh, the, the festival uh, wanted to make clear to the media, the public opinion, the importance of the economic side of a uh, cultural event such as San Sebastian Film Festival. As you may know, now in Spain, uh, there is a, uh, the cultural life is a controversial issue uh, because of the economic crisis. I suppose you know this reality in your own countries also. And for some politicians, for the public opinion, uh, they think that maybe uh, a, um, culture is a luxury that a country like Spain cannot afford at this moment with the crisis. So it was very important. Uh, to do this kind of uh, wake-up call to the public institutions uh, and to the media, uh, to make them aware of, uh, of the importance of a cultural event like San Sebastian in the economic life of the city. So we are going for the study. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the study is uh, divided in two parts. Uh, first, we are dealing with quantitative impacts and you have direct, indirect, and induced. I'm going to explain now uh, all this stuff. And the second part is qualitative. It's uh, mostly the foreign promotion and prominence of the, uh, that the festival uh, gives to the city of San Sebastian and the image conveyed of the city. Mm -hmm. So we are going first f with the quantitative impacts. We are going to talk about uh, numbers and, and money, but I think it's really important to consider this because Sometimes when we think of a film festival, we're always uh, thinking on the cultural side. Of course, it's a, cult it's a cultural event, but we are going to talk today about uh, money, which is also really important for a festival. Without money, you don't have festival, of course. <laughs> Let's see. This is our some, um, some main figures of our festival. Uh, the titles we use to screen, uh, our audience, uh, and the, uh, the attendance of industry and journalists. Of course, this, this as I said you before, these numbers are now a bit uh, outdated. Uh, I can give you the, the numbers of the last edition, 2015, because there has been a significant uh, increase of, of these numbers. Uh, you can see there uh, 157,000 uh, viewers, but last year we had uh, 175, so it was a significant increase. Uh, we had uh, uh, 100 and f sorry, uh, 1,500 uh, uh, professionals uh, for the industry and we had 1,000 1, uh, journalists. So we are always in these um, uh, numbers. So as you can see, for a city like Spain, it's a quite a big event. Uh, San Sebastian is the biggest uh, festival in Spain. It, it has the biggest budget, and it's the only festival in Spain which uh, is the A category. So of course, it's still the, the most important uh, film event in Spain. But let's go for this one. Okay. Uh, 
It's important to, to stress that the festival uh, is an organization that creates jobs uh, in, in there in, in Basque Country, in San Sebastian, in the city. As you may know, employment is, is right now one of the main concerns of the Spanish society. We have a lot of, a lot of we have millions of employ, employed people in Spain, and it's uh, very uh, important to make clear that we are creating jobs uh, within the thanks to the organization of the festival so you can see here the structure of uh, of the workers in the festival i don't know how the, okay uh, we have these core employees uh, which are 27 people who with the, they are working all the year in the festival uh, in the office, we have a permanent office in, in San Sebastian, and these uh, 27 people uh, work uh, all the year there. Then we have our own production team. team. Uh, it's about, you see, uh, 180 temporary workers. Uh, these workers uh, usually uh, uh, begin to work in the months prior to the festival. Our festival is held in September. So um, they used to work from July to October, after, uh, one month after the festival, because there is a lot of, you know, the festival ends, but there is a lot of work to be done after the festival ends. No? So, uh, and these people is working mostly from July to October. Then uh, we have this, uh, uh, the support professionals, sub subcontracted uh, teams, and these people uh, used to work uh, during the festival. They are contracted uh, by the festival for doing any kind of, of job, especially production and this kind of stuff, uh, during the 10 days or something like that, that the, um, the festival is... Uh, is uh, we, we have the festival in San Sebastian. And uh, then we have the volunteers. Uh, there are 134, maybe there are more, this, this last edition, I think maybe 150 or something like that. And this uh, is, uh, is uh, they are young people, uh, mostly of them are uh, students from the university or young people which is interested in the f festival experience. So they want to participate uh, and they, are, they volunteer for doing this kind of jobs. So you can see here, um, the also the analyst jobs we have in the festival and of course the, it means this means that uh, we are offering jobs to people in the city so we cannot uh, forget this that uh, a cultural event is also uh, a way to employ people let's go for the next here you can see uh, our funding this is uh, in San Sebastian Maybe it's a bit complicated, I try to explain this. Uh, but um, you can see uh, the private uh, and public funding. In the, in the blue, we have the public funding, which is, uh, as you can see, is uh, a bit more than the half of the budget. It's uh, 56%, and you have 44 of private. Uh, the public funding in San Sebastian uh, comes with uh, from four uh, sources. We have the um, a help of one million euros of the government of Spain through the Ministry of Culture, but uh, also we have from other institutions because uh, you know in Spain we have this. Uh, autonomias we call these autonomies. These uh, provinces we have uh, also their own government. So we have also a help of 1 million euros from the government of the Basque country. But also the Basque country has uh, three provinces, <laughs> which are um, uh, Alaba, Guipúzcoa, and Vizcaya. And we are in Guipúzcoa, in San Sebastián. So we have another help of 1 million for the county council of the province of Guipúzcoa. And the fourth one is from the municipality of San Sebastián. So as you see, it's very good to have so many little governments because all of them can help you with one million euros, each of them. So it's a, it's a good <laughs> solution. Um, but uh, apart from that, uh, the rest of the funding is based on sponsoring, of course, contributions from private uh, business companies. It's, uh, most of this 44%, it's supposed about the 30%. And the rest of the funding, uh, the, the rest of the funding, the 14% uh, of the rest comes from the own income of the activity of the festival. 
We have a box office revenues of about uh, half million euros or something like that. Uh, on publicity in the festival, um, in the festival spaces, uh, in panels, publication, etc., which means about one million euros. So, uh, with all this, maybe we, we can uh, we can do the festival every year. Uh, here you have the expense entries, uh, the expenditure the festival is doing in, in the city, in the different uh, areas, the personnel. Guests, of course, you have a lot of guests in the festival. You have to pay for their flights and you have to pay for their stays in hotels. And, well, you can see another, uh, the fees, uh, all kinds of expenses. So, But the important thing of these figures is this. The conclusion to be drawn uh, from this number is uh, if you, you realize that the uh, municipality of San Sebastian contributes with 1 million euros, and then they're promoting an event with, uh, of a budget of 7.5 million euros. So seven times greater, just when, when one, they're putting 1 million euros in the festival, but they are doing this event in the city, which is, of course, much more expensive. So uh, this is, I think, it's a good... Uh, um, a good solution for the municipality, no? to have this kind of event which promotes more money than the, the money they are putting in it. Okay, let's go for the next one. Indirect, Indirect impacts uh, are related to the effects of the, of the festival in the urban life uh, of the city, in the, in the economy, of course. Uh, we must take in, con in consideration here the expenditure made by visitors attending the festival, the participants in the event, of course, these people, they should stay in some place, they have to eat, they have to drink something, so this is a big expenditure in the, in the city. Uh, the festival attracts tourism also, and invigorates the economic activity of the, of the city. Uh, it's important to notice that uh, our festival is in September, as um, as you can imagine, uh, September is the moment when uh, the holiday season has declined because, of course, everybody in September, the children must go to school, people go to, to their normal life, but uh, our festival uh, is in the second half of the month, so in San Sebastian, this uh, high, uh, high season, this uh, touristic season, is longer than in the rest of Spain, thanks to the festival. It's, it's very important. You can see here the, the result of that. Uh, this is the decline of the overnight uh, stays in the hotels in several cities of the north of Spain, you have here Santander, Gijón, Santander in Cantabria, Gijón, Asturias, uh, La Coruña is in Galicia, uh, other, uh, this, uh, and this is San Sebastian, and this is the provinces, Cantabria, Asturias, Coruña, and Guipúzcoa, which is the place where San Sebastian is. So, if you see, uh, this decline of the overnight stays is less in San Sebastian than in the rest of the cities, thanks to the festival, mm -hmm. okay? You can see that even 40, 36, but here we have 22, 24. Mm -hmm. It's the province with uh, a less, uh, lesser decline of overnight stays. These are also these numbers. Uh, during the festival, we have this calculate. We have calculated these overnight stays and Guipúzcoa, because uh, usually the city during the festival is absolutely crowded. You cannot find uh, hotels when the festival is, is being held. If you are going to San Sebastian, I, I recommend you to make your, your booking of, of hotels very early in the year, because you can, find, you can have problems if not. And uh, some people have to stay in other um, towns near nearby San Sebastian, other locations in the in the province, so they also benefit from this uh, assistance to the attendance to the festival. So we have this total of, as you can see, 28,000 overnight stays, uh, and this is of course the financial returns for the hotels in the city, 3.2 million euros, which is really interesting number. 
Okay, no, yes. Okay, so uh, we have to consider also uh, uh, other services uh, in the city which benefits from the festival. I'm talking about uh, the transport in the city, the shops, restaurants, uh, bars, etc. You know that in San Sebastian we have excellent food, we have very good places to, to eat and drink, and of course this is an important uh, income from the, for the city. I, I, I give to you some examples which are very interesting. Uh, taxi services, for example, during the festival, they increase in 20% uh, compared to the rest of the, of the year, with an income raising of uh, 50%. And this is means about uh, 50,000 euros for the ta just for the taxi services. The public transport is the same case. They increase the number of passengers in more or less 46,000, more than the weeks before and after the festival. And if we estimate one euro per passenger, we are talking about, uh, of course, uh, 40, uh, 46,000 euros of income. Parking lots, an example, for the people who move by car. Uh, increase the number of admissions in 5,000 more than the rest of the year, so the, the, the previous week or the week after the festival, so the income raising is about uh, 30,000 euros. So, as you can see, the festival has an indirect impact to all these services. And here, uh, this is uh, an estimation of the economic activity uh, generated by the festival thanks to uh, its participants, the people who is attending the festival. So uh, we distinguish, we are making this distinction between the active participants, which are the audience, the people who is coming to the festival to watch films, of course, because it's the reason you usually you go to a film festival. But also we have a, not, a lot of non-active participants. Maybe they are not coming to the screenings, they are not so interested in cinema, but they are always around the festival, they want to go to the red carpet to see the celebrities uh, that come to the festival, uh, they are going to some activities, parallel activities we have in the city, or just they are around there, but of course they are also consumers. They are also dr eating, drinking, etc. So, uh, with this active participant, we estimate what uh, we call film days. With the non-active participants, we estimate we, what we call the leisure days. I, so, uh, we are considering a, a film day. Is, a, is the idea of a film day? The concept is uh, is the uh, the days uh, the day uh, the film day is. Uh, how many uh, days a person has been uh, watching films in the festival. So, um, if we consider in this average of 1.7 films per viewer, uh, and we uh, consider our attendance, our admissions in the festival, we can establish this figure of, uh, as you can see, nine, uh, 92, sorry, I don't see very well from here, 92,000, uh, days, uh, 9,721, and uh, if we consider the leisure days like a 10% of these ones, we have also these figures of this figure of 9,272. So uh, if you sum these two figures, we have this participant days number, and if we consider that uh, the people who are watching films, they spend more or less uh, 89 euros per day is an estimation this consultant agency did about the expenditure, the average expenditure of these people, and 40 euros in the leisure days, you have this income of, very impressive income of uh, 8.7 million euros of that the people, the people attending the, the festival is spending in the city of San Sebastian during, during this week. Let's go here now. So we can do now an integration of the, these quantitative impacts. And uh, you can see that uh, if we uh, add this as the expenditure of the, of the festival mm, there, with the expenditure due to visits uh, generated by the festival, you have this figure of uh, more than uh, 18 million euros. Of course, this is... Um, 
this sum uh, has a very uh, important induced impact for the public institutions. I'm talking about taxes. Uh, taxes, public returns, social security of contracted, uh, of contracted employees, people working in services, etc. So finally, the public institutions, uh, they are uh, taking also some money for this expenditure. Mm? Uh, so this is also, so uh, they are not uh, giving uh, this money for free because finally they have some returns of thanks to the expenditure. Okay, let's see now, the next one, okay. So, uh, we are going now to the qualitative uh, aspects. And this was, it's very important here uh, to take in consideration the media projection of the festival. Uh, because of course, uh, for a city like San Sebastian, I suppose most of you uh, know San Sebastian for our festival. Uh, probably for our food also, our Basque uh, cook, uh, cookers, which are really good, though. but, um, uh, but uh, for the city, is you have this uh, media repercussion, which is very difficult to obtain by other means, because during the, um, this week, the festival is in the media, uh, the, the, um, the city appears in TV, in the magazines, we have a lot of photo calls, we have a lot of, uh, events in the city, and of course, you're, all of them are happening in the city. So you you are promoting also this uh, this uh, city. It's very interesting because also um, uh, we are in in very in close contact with uh, the gastronomy the gastronomic side of the city. You know that the Basque food is um, Basque cooking is very important all over the world. San Sebastian has the biggest concentration of uh, Michelin stars in the world just the city, and uh, of course we have this culinary cinema uh, section in which we screen films, but also we organize some dinners with uh, important chefs of San Sebastian and for the Basque country of all Spain. Um, this is an incredible way to promote the restaurants and the, and the um, um, Basque food. Because if you had some personality, like I remember when you Juan McGregor came to the festival, uh, with uh, to him to some of these restaurants, and he was he was uh, all the time making photos for Instagram, and uh, he was tweeting all the all the meals he was he was eating in San Sebastian. You can imagine the followers that Ewan McGregor has in Twitter and Instagram. Uh, of course, for a restaurant, this is an incredible promotion. Millions of people are uh, watching uh, what uh, Ewan McGregor is eating at that moment in which restaurant. <laughs> so it's incredible. Huh? Uh, so, uh, of course, it's also um, uh, a positive uh, image conveyed for the city because, uh, of course, you have this idea of a, a place for favorable cultural activity. And, um, of course, the f our festival is uh, 60, we are going to, uh, to do now our 64 editions, 60, more than 60 years promoting the city. This is incredible. Okay, let's, what's happening here? Oh, okay. So, this is another interesting estimation. Is uh, is the this will be the equivalent cost uh, that uh, for the city would suppose to invest in media advertising? Uh, you have uh, if, imagine that the city of San Sebastian, the municipality, wants to uh, put uh, publicity in radio, national TV, foreign press, national press, etc. And um, more or less, this will be the this is the estimation that this um, consultant agency did. We are talking of this um, almost uh, 18 million euros, but the city has all this for free, just for free, because thanks to the festival, they are all the time in the radio, in the, in the TV, in the press, etc. Uh, we used to do. We have also some kind of agreement with the with the municipality with the tourist uh, tourism department of the municipality for example um, for our photo calls of the biggest stars that come to the festival to take them to some places some locations beautiful locations in sorry oh i think i some beautiful locations in the city and uh, so this is incredible because you have uh, this biggest star 
with uh, some beautiful location of uh, San Sebastian behind him, him or her. So it's also an incredible way to promote the city, which will be, would be very expensive if you had to pay for it. Yes, uh, I'm going there. Uh, okay, here. This is this incalculable communication campaign you have to, to do it uh, paying. And uh, finally, uh, of course, it's very important to have this image of the, of the event uh, as a city brand. Uh, the city, uh, San Sebastian, finally is some kind of brand. We are trying to create uh, a brand also with the Phil Festival. I, I, I want to think it is a brand right now. Uh, but uh, you have you are conveying this image of an open city. Uh, you can see that almost half of the United States every year correspond to foreign tourists, which is uh, also very important. Tourism is very important in San Sebastian. Uh, and you have this idea of a city with a lot of uh, cultural consumption. Uh, apart from the film festival in San Sebastian, we have a classical music festival in, in summer. We have a jazz music festival. We have a surf uh, f uh, film festival, horror film festival. There is a lot of activities during the year in the city. So you are creating this idea of a city with an incredible and um, vitalistic uh, cultural life. As you may know, this year San Sebastian is the capital, of, is the cultural capital of Europe, with Wroclaw in Poland. And for this decision in Spain, I think that uh, this cultural life of the city was really important to finally um, make this decision of giving this honor to the, the city of San Sebastian. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, more or less, this is uh, what uh, I wanted to tell you to, today. I, was, uh, I want to, to finish with uh, a little anecdote. <coughs> At the very, when we did this, um, this presentation in 2013, we were in some problems with uh, one of the public institutions because they wanted to reduce their apportation to the festival. As I said before, they used to, to give us one million euros, each of them, but uh, this uh, public institution, I won't say which one, uh, they wanted to reduce to uh, less money. Uh, and we were trying to convince them not to do so, but it was very difficult uh, negotiations. But after we did this presentation um, in the, for the media, it was it had a, it appeared in a lot of newspapers and, and, and media there, especially in the Basque Country. And after that, uh, this institution decided uh, to give us uh, the same money or to compensate this this uh, quantity they were reducing for the cultural uh, area, the cultural department, and they give us the money from the tourism department. So finally, they understood that uh, a cultural event, San Sebastian, is also a touristic, uh, of touristic importance for the city. So finally, it was a happy ending for all this. So uh, I think that uh, in these hard times in which culture is sometimes is, is putting of this uh, dubious light, no? Do, do you really need uh, this kind of cultural event in your city? We have a lot of problems, we need money for other things. I think it's very important to stand out this kind of, of approach to a film festival, to, uh, to wake up uh, the people and to make them understand uh, the importance it has in the economy of the city. So as you can see, uh, a cultural event in also is, is very good not only for your mind and soul, but also for your body, especially if you have so good food as we have in San Sebastian. Thank you very much. <laughs>